Netflix finally released a full-length trailer for the upcoming Sandman series. What is up? I am the GI Joel, and in this video, we're going to be breaking down some of the hidden Easter eggs and other things that I saw in the Sandman trailer that you might want to know about. And if you like nerdy content, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to join the GI Joel Nation. Netflix is going to be adapting the Sandman, coming out in a new series beginning August 5th. They've been really guarded with the information kind of around the show. Neil Gaiman is giving very little information. They haven't even released a playlist for the the music through the show is going to be and honestly most of the information we have is very little but i am a huge fan of the sandman comics and i'm really looking forward to seeing a live action adaptation now from this trailer we do have an idea of some of the characters that we're going to be getting in season one of course here on the opening shot we can see morpheus or lord dream over what we can presume to be what's left of the dreaming after he has been stuck in the mortal world for over a hundred years but also in this frame we can see matthew the raven now matthew's real name is matthew Joseph Cable, and he is a man that died while in the dreaming, so Morpheus resurrected him as a raven. Matthew plays a big part in the comics and becomes one of Morpheus's closest companions and most trusted allies. And Matthew is really the only one of the ravens that we really get to know. As there are many of them, it is something that Morpheus will do after someone dies while in the dreaming. He will offer to resurrect them and have them live out eternity as one of his pet ravens. In this next scene, we see Joanna Constantine. Now, in the comics, Joanna Constantine Constantine is the ancestor of John Constantine, who most people know from the Hellblazer comics. And based on what we're seeing here, it looks like they're just going to be swapping John Constantine out for Joanna. Now, probably some people are going to be saying this is going to be a big change. It's going to it really won't affect the story too much. Joanna was very much like John Constantine in the part of the comics that she was in, but she did live in an earlier time period in like the 1800s. And even in the comics, she also met Morpheus uh, before he was imprisoned. And in this scene, a long time talking to Joanna Constantine, we see Hetty, or Mad Hetty, as she's known in the comics. And she is another character that is really familiar with Lord Dream and his siblings, the Endless. If you don't know who the Endless are, those are basically the siblings of Morpheus. We have death, destruction, delirium, desire, despair, and destiny. And in the comics, Mad Hetty is a character who has lived for over 200 years simply by hiding her heart from death. Never told what that means, but it sounds pretty cool. We also get our first look of Lucy the head librarian of the dreaming. Lucian is being played by, and I'm sorry if I get this wrong, but Vivian Akenpong. In the comics, Lucian is essentially Morpheus's right hand, most trusted confidant, and is basically second in charge of the dreaming. And Lucian also maintains the library containing every book that was dreamed of but never written. We see Dream Sister Death being played by Kirby Howell Baptiste in her iconic amulet necklace. We also see Desire being played by Mason Alexander Park, and if you look closely, you can see that Desire is wearing a hooked ring. Now, this hooked ring is something directly from the comics and allows Desire to communicate to their twin sibling, Despair. We also see someone holding one of Dream's relics, his amulet that allows you to pull things from the dreaming world into physical reality. And we can guess that this is Dr. Destiny, a former patient of Arkham Asylum that also appears in the Sandman comics. Now, it looks like he is crossing a welcome mat, which is directly, once again, out of the comics and is one of the most disturbing things in the entire Sandman series. He basically goes into this diner and uses the amulet to grotesque and violent ends. And then finally, in this last shot, the character that I am easily the most excited for, the Corinthian. Easily one of the most terrifying nightmare characters in any comic book series. So from this shot, now we know that the Corinthian is going to be there. And we do know from previous Netflix behind the scenes looks that we are going to be having the infamous serial convention. And for those of you that read the comics, you know what that means and why I would be so excited to see it in the show. I, for one, am super excited to check this series out. You know, we have a lot of things that are directly taken from the comics, and I am really pumped about that. I cannot wait for it to drop on Netflix August 5th. But are you excited to see the Sandman? Are you looking forward to watching it? Let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you at the next video.